workshops I think that I've done. There was that maybe I was just participating in where you guys still came and you were just like in the hotel room. Oh yeah, in September we have BK Live coming up. First well, with mean, babysitters. You could even that. technically go to that on your own, but you decided to bring us with you. In so September. you guys will just hang out, even though I'll be at the thing all day. We You'll bring be... the dogs. We chill in the hotel room. No. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I ain't never you know give it up. Take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't never so let me break, 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 break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up. I ain't never you know give it up. Take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about I didn't do that. I was trying to. I was trying to mix. We're it. live. <laughs> Welcome back, back to the to Breaking, Breaking the, the Cycle, Cycle podcast. podcast. Where's the button again? Oh, right here. Trying to get this thing recorded to get two little measly episodes. Technically three. We could have done a third one today. Yep. The interview. So that's coming well, up soon. What's up for reeks? Today we will be discussing some of our weekly family rituals and sharing a couple ideas on how you can spend even more time with your family. Not just weekly, just overall well, family yeah, rituals. Some family are monthly, rituals. some are even yearly. Oh, that was an awesome intro. I maybe apologize. not better than the one that I created. What? What? Which one do you create? Well, well, that's talk for, is cheap. Well, that's for later. It's yeah, for like the next sucker. episode. Sucker. But we're not doing two episodes on family rituals. So family rituals, let's do it. Let's jump in. So one of our main yeah. family rituals, let's start off right with that, is coming up in two weeks, Operation Black Site. That's like one of yeah. our rituals. Woo. We go over to the ranch into Temecula. We take the RV. We stay there for like three days, usually Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This time it's going to be. And we just hang out there. We take the dogs with us. We're on the ranch. We're doing some training. We're doing some workouts. We're just hanging out, having fun, living out of the RV for a few days right there on the ranch. You know what the coolest part of doing that is? That not you get the paid coolest to part. Do it. No, not the coolest part of it. But you know what the, what the one of the cool parts is? We're we're in an RV and it's literally like a hundred yards from where I we have to I have to show up to Ooh, work. Yeah. So you're like roll out of bed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and like we also some get ra- to wake up like at Like there's some groundbreaking scientific breakthrough. We also get to wake up at five a.m. to work out. So we well like you're happy to do. We that. wake up at five a.m. to get ready to eat to go you work wake out up at five fifty nine, and we want to get there a minimum 15, 20 minutes early. You wake up at five fifty nine. Yeah, to start the workout at six a.m. You wake up at five fifty nine, and you throw on some. Uh, you just go run out there in your jammies and go work out. I, in, your in fact, am prepared before any of you are because I sleep with my pair of clothes that I'm going to wear. Exactly. So do I. So that's one of our our family rituals is. Basically, it's work that I'm doing, but everyone goes along for the ride to the to the work, to the event, to the workshop, and they actually participate. Mitch helps out. Tyson participates. And other workshops I go to, there's like the last one, the mini black site. Tyson came and helped me out the whole day for it with holding mitts and holding holding mitts for adults and helping me teach boxing Teaching and striking self-defense stuff. self-defense stuff to grownups and adults. And then also the Squire program, same thing. It's a work, my job, if it's even... Yeah, it's hard to even call it a job because I'm just hanging out, having fun, talking shit, working out, doing cool it's stuff. It's playtime. And then playtime. it's it's work, but then being able to go and do it together. So that's one of our rituals. Oh, I guess the ritual of that is not really a black site. The ritual is take it, finding ways to bring your family into your work, into your workshops, into the taking traveling. Taking your family along for the ride. Taking your family along for the ride. doing like, Even if they just travel with you. Like There's probably workshops, I think, that I've done. There was. that Maybe I was just participating in. Where you guys still came, and you were just like in the hotel room. Oh yeah, in September we have BK Live coming up. First well, I mean, with babysitters. You could even yeah. technically go to that on your own, but you decided to bring us with you. In so September. you guys will just hang out, even though I'll be at the thing all day. We You'll bring be, the dogs. We chill in the hotel room. We bring our one dog that's less than fifty fifty, 50 pounds, pounds, I think, and, and it's, it's a, a poodle mix. Poodle mix, <laughs> and then we just bring the three in one by one. I mean, allegedly, snitches okay. end up in ditches. Well, because you bring one dog, I bring one yes, dog. Yes, I'm bringing one dog. You're bringing one dog. dog. So it is one dog. Yeah, it's true. It makes sense. You're bringing one dog. Per, per. And like, they can't say that they are pit bulls or Doberman mix, boxer mix, pivot mix. They don't know what they associate as. And they don't know what they are. Are true. they going to, did they weigh them just because they look all beefy and bulky? Did they put them on a scale plus? That could be full off. Think about That's, it. If I weighed, what does fluffy mean? Exactly, it could be like no, like your hamster has all that fluffy hair. Oh, it's not a 
How many it's times? A guinea it's pig. Like, Whatever. It's a guinea pig. Whatever. It's a It's just a fat hamster with it's a lot of hair. It's not a fat hamster. Fat hamster with a lot of hair. If I weighed 400 pounds. <laughs> what do you mean if? If I weighed Flashbacks 400. from the police <laughs> test. If I weighed 400 pounds, I would just say, you know what? I don't associate as a 400 pound person. I only weigh buck 75 and you can't tell me a different because that's what I associate as. I associate as a single, a, a, a skinny person. He's trying to figure out a buck 75 beans. A pound? A dollar? Why would you get paid a dollar 75 because you weigh 400 pounds? It don't make no sense. All right, let's keep rolling. So that's our, our first, I guess, ritual that you call is take the family with you for work when you can, when you travel. Because otherwise, think about it. When I go to these Squire programs coming up, in July. First, I have a podcast in Utah on the 24th. Then I have a squire in Colorado on the 27th. Then another squire we in have a squire. squire in, uh, I have a squire oh. in Illinois on August 3rd. If I did that by myself, I'd have to leave a few days before the first one, a few days after the last one. I'd have to travel and stop in a bunch of different hotel rooms by myself, first of all. Then that would be, I'd be gone for a week and a half, two weeks on my own. Wouldn't be here. Wouldn't see, hang out with you guys. Wouldn't see you. Why did you just headbutt the microphone? I didn't know where. I, I did you fall? Did you just fall? You slipped? How do you slip? I slipped. I, I, I slipped. Did you just fall asleep? All of a sudden, she's like this, like, dunk. Well, you see, I was resting my arm on my leg here, and my arm slipped off my leg. But think of how cool it is. So if, even if you had to take, if I, if I had to pay for plane tickets just to go to go events, you're at least not away from your family for a week or two weeks and you're going to lose some money from that. It's going to cost more money because you suckers when you go travel, you just think that, you know, you get all the these things at the airport all of a sudden you need. No, your, no, that's not me. That's Mitch. I pack my own Like stuff. a $9 bag of little peanuts that's like this $9 big. $9 bag. F- and we take like only like four bags maybe. Oh, that's the carry-on. We haven't mentioned the check-ins when we go on a plane. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> All right, so that's the first yeah, ritual. Yeah, no, one time. I think that's our mutual ritual is taking the family wrong ride. I wanted to kickstart yeah. it with that one. No, but like this one time, Not I took a little. Not sponsored by Celsius. Not <laughs> sponsored by Celsius. Anyway, like. Yet. Yet. Powerful words, mister. Anyway, one time I took Powerful a literal <laughs> backpack full Wait, of what did stuffed you just animals. Say? A fat back? What? Who has a fat back? And the 400 pound version of me that's associated with the buck 75 yes no a a back pack full of plushies. no one time you had a full suitcase, suitcase. full of it we had to check but in the backpack yes you mean like when? two trips ago so i forget where maybe they're going to houston or something no that was my pink backpack no one time you had a one time you had a suitcase. full suitcase it literally a suitcase. a suitcase stuffed with freaking stuffed that. animals yeah mm, yeah and that year I traveled a lot, so we had we got to take three bags each up to seventy pounds. This year I think we only have one bag each of seventy pounds. You have to figure out your situation, like before you have to pay the extra. You would have had to pay like a hundred bucks for that that stupid suitcase. You the- mean a you? <laughs> I ain't paying nothing. I, I'm not paying extra luggage fee. You want you could bring whatever you want when you travel, but the rules are you're carrying it and you're freaking paying for it. Yeah, you're carrying it. Then what happened at the beach when I wanted to bring my spade and trowel? But we, because first of all, who the F brings a spade and a trowel. I don't even know what that is to the beach. Second of all, you, we all know you're not going to carry. You weren't going to be carrying all that by yourself. I was. We know that that. And wasn't what is happen. a spade? It's a shovel. A and spade and a spade. trowel. With a spade is anyway. We got to keep this moving. We got to keep this moving. Shaped shovel. So all right. Oh wait, wait. Before we rituals, say anything else, rituals. Spade. Look, let's get another section in first. All right, fine. Rituals. What is Midge? What is your favorite? ritual that we have as a family what is happening over there? and why like what is your favorite ritual my favorite ritual is this thing called battle box i just got it's coming july 10th so another week now for those of you who don't know what battle box is this is not a sponsorship okay <laughs> by the way yet battle box is yet a monthly subscription of camping, EDC, and survival gear sh- sh- shipped directly to your doorstep. What we does EDC one- stand for? EDC stands for Everyday Carry. Were we supposed to like, guess Why'd that? Why did you pause? Like, did you forget? Hey, why are you so loud? <laughs> you know. guessed it. Carry. All right. We're going to have to tone down your mic a little bit. because hey. yours is a li- that, that new mic of yours is a little squealy. Oh, no. Now you're going to hold it? That's even worse. Freaking Mariah Carey. Who's that? 
saw him that was playing with ODB yesterday that was playing loud at like oh, 11 p.m. Yeah. We started playing after we were watching the Wu Tang series. You watch the Wu Tang series, cool series. <laughs> It's even cooler if you know if you yeah. follow the Wu Tang Clan and you were like into that back then in the nineties. Too bad ODB OD'd at thirty five. Literally two thirty five. Days, two days before his birthday. Two days before his thirty sixth birthday. What a shame. What a shame. All right. Yeah. So your favorite is Battle Box. That's when we get the monthly subscription. We get all kinds of weapons and guns and I mean knives and gear and water purification systems and camping stuff and, and stickers. Backpacks, bags, weapons. Tools, yep. like I have a cabinet, all kinds of cool stuff down here. All of our, some of our survival we stuff. We might get show. monetized if we yeah. show anything. Tyson, what is your favorite? You what is your favorite family ritual? So that's a ritual. When the battle box comes in, it's like Christmas every. It's like Christmas every month coming in. We all run around and open up the box, and we take turns Video. opening one He's of us. He's the nerd. He reads like the manual. Well, I don't know why you guys call me that. I just read. What's the problem with reading? We all read here. No, you read like a, a super nerd when you're reading. He that. reads the manual. Like for this it. knife is perfect for EDC. It is made in CR four hundred seven steel. And it is none the wiser. <laughs> Makes you none the wiser. All right, Tyson, what is your favorite? Of, what is your favorite ritual, family ritual that. that we have? I have three. I would uh, favorites. I would call them. But if I had to pick one, I'd have to. I choose this one, which is yeah. Freak Night. And Freak Night, if you do not know, is so basically everyone goes to sleep. Meaning everyone. Meaning you sometimes stay up, but mom usually goes to sleep. The first OG. All right, Wyatt, yours is. You're, you're the the first now. original Freak Nights, I stayed up till like four with you guys. You did it like once or twice, but then usually you stay up till 11, 12. You're like, I think I'm done. But then sometimes time, you try to stay time, up I twice. Caught, I caught you sleeping on the floor. She, on the, she passed out on the floor with the dog one. Like a couple times that happened. Like until we finished at like 4 or 5 a.m. We had to like get her up. Or else she, maybe she woke up in the middle of the night. I said, wake me up at tw- uh, in 20 minutes. In 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, sure. It was like six hours later. Anyway, explain what Freak Night so, is very briefly. So Freak Night, we basically work for two, three-ish hours starting at like 10, 10 p.m. And then we'll go and play. Play video games for like about an hour, hour and a half. And we'll just usually do two, two, two or three cycles of that until like 5 a.m. And then we go to sleep. But we're just working, like regular work? Oh, no. Kill work. Like? Like building one of our businesses, which is IFF, IFFF, which is the Infinite Freak Fitness Formula, the last workout program you'll ever need. We actually built that entire program on Freak So nights. it's not just work. Work gets done during the day. It's like super freak in. flow in and the zone we play level. And video games, too. Freak flow flow in the zone level of work where because the whole world is shut down you don't have to worry about text messages coming in or new emails coming in nothing. nothing it's just attacking like a project we'll pick one or two or three projects for the night and we're staying up pretty much until we finish those projects we take a break we go hang out have some fun come back in do another cycle of attacking the work a next project some of the stuff i'll be working on my own project he'll be working on his own and she'll be working on her own and then we'll take a, a next segment where it's something that we all need to work on together so we're kind of collaborating on it so it's pretty cool. We have a lot of fun. We get we get a week's worth of done work done in one night. Plus we get to play games. Plus we hang out, which means we don't have to wake up early the next day. So well, we you sleep see, in a little the next day because we're up to like four or five in the morning. You see, I can stay up till six a.m. Just not working. That doesn't. It's just not working. Just not. That's working. not my thing. All right, so that's your favorite. Like I can't hold out until the first break. You guys want to do like three hours the first. All right. What's next? Until. What's the next part here? Uh, let's do our weirdest family oh, ritual. So there's only two people in this show for their favorites. Oh, oh. No. So I have to ask myself what my oh, favorite wait, I, is. No one here. What's your favorite ritual, Jesus, sir? Tone down that squeakiness. Hey. Mute, okay, I guess I'll talk like stuff. this from now on. I don't know. Gonna my, be deep. I did the sound check and it sounds good. But I feel like mine is always like deep. Very deep and like I'm on the radio talking like this, like Darth Vader. Don't start off Equalizer when it it literally hurts my ears. It's so high pitched. Equalizer. Oh, when we Equalizer don't have- off. I don't know what's up. Maybe that. Wait, what is that? What is that? Oh, it, t- it changed the side that you're. Like, yeah, you had that. On. That wasn't equal there. Whoa. The right side was down. Whoa, that that sounds so good now. Wow. You're supposed to be the audio guy. Me? All right. So yeah, that sounds like a little better. Anyway, person, my favorite bro. is dog time. Of, it's, and that's a daily thing. We pretty much do it every day. You, sometimes the whole family, always at least you and me, they kind of m- meander around <laughs> during it. It's like where we go outside. Because to me, it's like a signal that the, the work day is over. It's like that transition from the work day into like the rest of the night where it's time to just hang out and chill. We go outside. 
It's sunny every day all year round here in California. So we go outside with the dogs and just play with the dogs for about an hour. We're just in the front yard, throwing the ball for them, chasing them around, doing tug of war, just having fun, shooting some videos. And the turtle comes out and they're playing with the turtle and they're all sharing a water bowl. And then we might go for the last 15 minutes in the backyard and throw the ball and they jump in the pool. And then we might jump in the pool with them afterwards. So we're jumping in the pool, hanging out, having fun, but it's like complete checkout. There's no work getting done. There's no checking text messages. There's no emails. It's complete detached from the world. It's just out there. Unless we're like recording them. I used to, even sometimes barefoot out there in the grass until you step in a nasty, smushy pile of dog crap. Then it's like, all right, I should have worn my flip What do you flops. mean? We always clean those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Speaking of having nothing to do with work and being completely horsing around, who wants a joke? What do you got? Who uses horsing around anymore? I've, I haven't heard that saying in months. We got What? Is mic broken or something? <laughs> what do you call a ship that lies at the bottom of the ocean and shakes? You gotta say it again. What? Say it again. Huh? What do you call a ship that lies at the bottom of the ocean and shakes? Bot of lies the ocean. Lies in the bottom of the ocean and a sea creature, a seashell. It's a ship. Okay. Jesus. I'm a just destroyed thinking ship. through it. Slow down. No, no, no. That's a very fast timer. <laughs> no, and you're making... You can't make noise. Then you have to start over and make noise because it's very distractionary. You have to say it one more time because it's a very confusing question. One more time. What do you call a ship that lies at the bottom of the ocean and shakes? A ship. A ghost ship. A earthquake. Lies in the bottom of the ocean and shakes. A ship. Jesus. A destroyed ship. All right. Hint. Hint because I don't know. What is another word for abandoned ship? Mayday? I don't know. An abandoned no, not ship. An abandoned, a destroyed. Destroyed. I have no idea. Would Shipwreck? Like uh, shakes at the bottom of the ocean. Shipwreck? Uh, you want the answer? Earthquake? I don't know. You're not getting any points for this. Wait, say the All question. All right, I know that. Say the question anything. and then say the answer again. What do you call a ship that lies at the bottom of the ocean and shakes? A nervous wreck. Oh, God. Come on now. How am I supposed to get that crap? <laughs> How do you not get what that? What are you writing down there? You're like a therapist. <laughs> after I do it, she's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and writing her, what were you writing down after I said that? Taking notes? Like, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. With your little punching bag with your thing. your goofy pen. If you, wa- if you watch the last episode, or maybe that episode's gonna get released later. All right, let's Not talk about sure. another mutual, another yes, mutual family ritual part. before we go into your weirdest ritual that you have, weirdest family ritual. Next one is Death Valley, I think, is one of our, all of our mutual favorites. It's one of our yearly ones. It's our Thanksgiving ritual. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites. That we go, and what was symbolic about that first trip to Death Valley? What did we do then? What did we start then? You remember? EFA, Ecker Freak Academy. EFA, we started EFA. Started and homeschooling. One of my things that happened because we do it over Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving night, the plate, the RV place we stay at, it has a restaurant that it's like has a cabin. A it's like an old cabin. Yeah, with- food there is so good. The and- triple chocolate fudge cake. Oh. Mm. Mm. How would you know what the triple chocolate fudge cake tastes like? The apple pie. Mm. And uh, and if there's the this buffet. Apple pie is oh my god! <laughs> so that's our Thanksgiving ritual. We're in Death Valley to celebrate Thanksgiving, and then we hike the sand dunes for a couple of days, and it's pretty cool. And we go eat all you can eat Thanksgiving food, and then burn it off out there in the sand dunes. And it's not even that hot out there. It's like seventy five, the hottest maybe out there. So it's not even hot in the. Yeah, it's not there. like too too hot. But so dur- the dogs can come. with It's us. actually the hottest place in the world uh, in America during. The oh, summer. right now no, it'd be like, right now it'd be world. like right now it'd be like 110, 120 yeah. right now. At least in the I think dunes. the I think the world record is 100 was one hundred thirty six. Yeah. And I bet it's in because Death Valley. It says just Death Valley. I bet it's somewhere near those dunes because it's just like wide in the open. Just well, I mean those are. I bet those sun. aren't the only dunes in. You know why it's so hot? Because there's no, like, there's nothing like nearby to like pollute the air. Pollute? So, so the air is just like clean. Have you ever seen the air above Los Angeles City? When you come over that ridge on the, I forget what highway it is, and like LA is like another 15 or 12 miles in the distance, but you're up on this curve and it's like in this dip 
And like, you see you it? You literally see the line of it's, disgustingness. It looks fake like someone drew it. It's just a line of like yellow gunk covering directly over the city of yellow Los Angeles. Gray. It's just like on a clear day like this, you would just see it. It's, it's crazy. It's the most polluted city, I think, in the world, right? The worst air quality. Oh, yeah, I think. I think there and then probably somewhere like in Like if you inhale, China. like do a big inhale, what did you then say? you'll start I coughing. can't, like, you can't even say the word China. What did you? And probably, there probably is some other one, wor- even worse ones in China that are even known about, but they just okay. cover it up and they, no, they just lie about it. And it's a comedy. They just put out the information they want to put out. But anyway, that's a whole other story about air pollution. All right, let's talk oh, about your- you say how say, how would pollution- Make something less hot. Don't you mean perspiration or whatever? What the, what the per- hell is she talking about? That's <laughs> raining. Have some words. Raining. Precipitation. Precipitation. Perspiration. Don't forget, I was a pog in the military. I did weather reports. I was a pog. Yeah. Precipitation. Wait, what the hell does that guy do with anything that we're talking that, about? It doesn't rain in Death Valley. Why are you always well, doing that? You said there's no. Figure eights. You said there's nothing to pollute the air. Okay, but how like would that factories, make it less hot? Like those nuclear power plants. But you, you were talking people. about how hot it is. And then we went into air pollution. No, because the air is clear there. That's why the sun could just like shoot down to the ground. Oh, that's what you meant. The pollution's like a shield. Maybe, I don't know. I think. Yeah. LA, to just me, always does shit up seem now. dark. <laughs> just making shit up now. All right. Interesting conversation. Next. And we drove right through. Oh, you weren't with us. As we went to that birthday party in LA just like two weeks ago, we literally turned right down 6th Street, which is like you know the heart Sixth and center Street of is. Skid Row. Freaking Skid Row. wild. Dun, I mean, I've dun, seen dun. it. I've seen it like 20 some twenty years ago when we used to go to LA when I lived in San Diego when we were, I was stationed in the Marines in San Diego. We'd go to LA and I'd see some of it there, but it's like, it is a different planet. It's wild. Holy. And that was at nighttime. <laughs> Yeah, they're just like That's zombies. That's when the volatiles Just up. walk right in front of the car. Like if you're not paying attention, I would have hit this like stumble in front of the road. It was out of, it is a whole different world. Anyway, whole nother episode about that too. So let's go back to family rituals. Yeah. And last, so, last, the last things. episode was about family meetings. That kind of, that's one of our rituals is meetings, which made us think not- about, which made us think about what other rituals we have other than these meetings, because those meetings are family rituals. And now we have these other, yeah. some, and some of our family rituals are not very normal. So what is your favorite or your weirdest ritual that you have or family ritual or some of them? Weirdest are- ritual that I have, and it's one of the only things that I know how to cook or make or whatever you want to call it, is my protein waffles. And you always call them pancakes and you always steal them from me. I literally have written down on my notes, pancakes. Waffles, pancakes, what the hell's the difference? What's the difference? Waffles pancakes have abs. Are flat. Waffles have abs, but it's the same... <laughs> What, what do you use to cook them? What's it say on the box? Flapjack mix. It doesn't say flapjack mix. Some of <laughs> flapjack <laughs> and waffle mix. What is flap? No. It's, I bet you it says pancake mix. Okay, fine. Let's it's go. protein pancake mix. But then I just crack an egg. You put so some you put water egg in whites it. in it. So yeah, so this nerd. What and you put this? some stevia. If you put one and a half tablespoons of stevia, it makes it so much better. Like he literally sits there every single day after the workout, after the workout, or depending on the work, the day, sometimes before. What exactly? Like, what's his name? Jesse. Jesse. We have to cook. It's time Jesse, to cook. It's time to cook. Who yes, knows that's from? Who knows that's from? Jesse, it's time to cook. Yes, Mr. White. Mr. White. Yes, Mr. White. <laughs> All right. So yours is making your flapjacks. Like he said, and you've been doing that for years. We went to Tennessee. Waffles have abs. You brought your own. Pancake. I started doing that since we created I EFA. It. You brought your own pancake maker on the on the plane. You might even did you have it in your carry on? I don't no, remember. I didn't have it in my carry-on. So you had it in your bag, lugging this pancake maker thing, plus all your mix and all your ingredients across the country into Tennessee. And we're in the hotel, and then we're in that farm cabin thing with I you want, making pancakes I I for both of us. Oh, I remember. It was, so, it was. It looked so big. It looked so cool. That cabin was cool. We had our own private cabin like in the middle of nowhere, and we had like a half of a day free in between. It was just like after we worked so hard, it was just like freedom. It was cool. Mm. Actually, and we created EFA there. The protein powder that I brought. No, personalized, IFFF. Personalized oh, yeah, protein yeah. powder that I brought, which is from Herbalife, which is not sponsored, by the way, yet. Yet. Yeah. And I remember it exploded in my, in not I don't know if it was in my bag, but it exploded when I opened it up. It just shot out. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big old mess. And we still figured it out. All right, so Midge, what is your weirdest ritual, family ritual? She just 
stretched my jaws. <laughs> Every episode, man. I don't think we've ever had an episode where you yeah. didn't where you didn't halfway eat the microphone or and or headbutt the microphone or fall asleep and bang like <laughs> boom, into the microphone. <laughs> Who could just sit there out of nowhere and just like gong out? Don't just you gone. remember? It's shalipped. <laughs> what does shalipped mean? Slipped. All right. What the is correct your correct word? Is slipped. It's not slipped. What it's is your slipped. weirdest ritual? I'm gonna shock you guys. This. This what? <laughs> Are you okay? Dropping the microphone. You know? Literally, you have a mic right there. Man, she did it. Just drops it. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> All right. This, Stop. as in what? This. BTC recording. What, 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 what does BTC stand for? I don't know. Wait. How can you? By the way, me? every time he gets a doing now, a, he's gonna get shot in the face. A doing. Uh, I wonder if eventually we're gonna. No, get- you're behind the T. I keep telling you that you keep moving further and further over. You're behind the T. You can't even see you this whole episode. Oh, well. Yeah, my- the camera's right there. You could see what it looks like. It's the weirdest. What if we get a headphone dent in our heads from recording so much? Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway, what's your most your weirdest ritual, Mitch? My weirdest ritual. It's prop. It's this, you know, like BTC recording, but in a good way. Like weirdest, like no other people, no other children do this with their siblings and their dads. Do what? Like, what are we doing? Recording a podcast. Like other kids, they would be so afraid usually. And know? talking about like sometimes hard topics, answering tough questions, being trying, you know, coming up with jokes and being entertaining and keeping a conversation going. And we don't edit any of this the only edits that go into the like you know other people do podcasts they'll go and edit and cut out pieces and rearrange stuff and like make sure it's if there's any dead parts like this is this This is just really raw that's probably why no one watches because we don't know how to edit shit but anyway people listen to 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 odb's music exactly (laughs) shimmy shimmy y'all shimmy yeah you don't even know how it goes and but yeah, we don't edit or anything. Yeah, the beginning we edit like a intro and music and a hook in the beginning, but then the thing goes straight through with no edits. So that's kind of hard to do to keep it on track, keep it on flow. There may have been sometimes where the first few minutes we have unreleased, unreleased recordings where we had to stop it One because time. because we've had some incidents one time like the, the re- difficulties like the episode before we recorded this one just today we we're like three minutes in and or th- not even 30 seconds in and it just went to all horse shit thanks a lot Tyson. one time uh, i didn't switch my shirt we're like five minutes in we're like on a roll and i literally just yelled stop for a shirt and we had such a, that was like i remember we had such a, a good, good smooth intro it was like flowing and he just in the middle remembers stop like what the hell just because of a shirt change my sh- for a did shirt did someone mu- mute me i can't hear myself oh you're fine no you're there he probably just toned you down a little bit because your thing is very squealy and squeaky all right what else we got going on here squealy. all right let's oh, skip squeaky. your weirdest and oh so you themselves. caught on to it this time all right so we're gonna <laughs> skip we're gonna skip my weirdest Come so on. make sure you guys subscribe go your fa- weirdest family ritual my weirdest family ritual is our Christmas tree that we keep up all year round. Stop. And doing that our that guinea thing. pig lives with. It, it, it's it's a room that we turn into. We call the ark that we put all of our other pets, it, other than Noah's ark, other than the outdoor pets, and other than the dogs, they have their own room, and it's dwindling down now. But there's, there's only there's two a, left in there: a snake and a, a big old hamster. Harry. It's a guinea pig. Whatever, a guinea pig. So they have their own room. It's a guest room in the house that so has like all like the nice bed and curtains built, curtains built in, and all the Stretching things hanging down, and man. all the the mirrors that say welcome and family welcome. and all this other stuff. It's supposed to be for mirrors? our mirrors. It's that say welcome. Whatever mirrors can't say welcome. Yes, they can. You want to bet? How can a mirror not say welcome? You can have a frame that says welcome. It's not that hard. But useless mirror. <laughs> it's it's meant for our. What are you doing? Nothing. Playing soccer playing soccer under the table it's meant for our, she's gonna fall asleep and bang her head but the <laughs> microphone again it's like no, I'm dunk, <laughs> dunk. no i'm not and so we have this room that's supposed to be for our a guest room and i don't did anyone ever stay in the guest? oh your our cousins uncle. did yeah. your, or your uncle and cousin stayed in there i think that was it i don't know your grandmother stayed there too right when she stayed here 
Witchcraft. Our grandmother never stayed here. She sure did. In this house, she didn't. That wasn't this house? No. It was back in... Demarcia. Are you sure about that? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Just give all of our routes out. Give all... Just give away my <laughs> blood type and freaking bank account number, social security number while you're at it too. Great. So... You forgot the security pin to your credit card? Yeah. Pen, credit cards don't have security pins. That'd be an ATM card. No, no, but that's like, you know, like the thing on the back? Security code, three-digit code, or four-digit on the front if it's an American Express. Bet you didn't know that. Oh, I did. I did. So, yeah, sure, <laughs> you do now with liar, freaking liar. So... I do. You're going behind the T again. Mm-hmm. Like, so that's mine. We, we have the room that's made, we call it the Ark, where we put all the animals. We convinced their mother, the Russian, that... It would be so cool yeah, to have this room with all the animals. And we, we used to go in there every night. That was part of our nighttime ritual. We haven't done that while. We'd go in there and hang out with all the animals before the night was over. And then in that room, we also have our Christmas tree that's completely up and decorated all year round. It used to be right out here in the open in the middle of the room. But the Russian didn't allow but it. No, it made like, more sense to go in there. It's like kind of like decorates the ark a little better. So we keep the Christmas tree up all it's year also round. It's hard to get to the pig. Because everyone gets excited about Christmas. Oh, it's Christmas. So... It was mine and his job. It's their job to decorate it. It was mine and his job to take it down. So we're like, hmm, how can we get out of this? We said, what if we just say, you know what? Christmas is such a magical time of year. What if every morning we could just wake up and what are you doing? I came here because you're like juggling the microphone. We're about to have an incident. incident. So we convinced her that wouldn't it be just like every day you wake up and it's just like kids on Christmas and just such a joyous, glorious day. Wouldn't that just be wonderful? It lasted for a week. Wouldn't that be wonderful? And no, but it's not a week. Oh, years. That idea. But we've had it now up for four or five years. We had it up since. We We literally moved. We moved and just had them wrap wrapping stuff around it. And ship it to the next house. Already set up with all of the ornaments on it, and then, it and then just like broke like fifty percent of them. Broke in half. We put it back together, and it's still up. And we still had to take it down. It's at least five years that it's been up now, because that was in a couple places. Except ago. for the time that it broke in half. <laughs> broke in half. So that's my weirdest ritual. Any other rituals you want to guys want to throw in before we wrap this up? See if I have any other notes here. Really, we talked so about EFA my, already. My other favorite fa- family rituals, the the ones that I didn't talk about is video games and working out because working out i love working out more than a lot of things and it's just one, one some things that we do every single day we've been doing it for over i think today is like day Ow. over day 910 of working out straight with no rest days so working out and video games i didn't real i didn't even realize that, that is a family ritual it's so weird just it's every day it's like breathing that's like a normal part I of our like day watching vi- i like, I like how- watching us work out <laughs> i like watching y'all work out i know i like i like another one of my favorites is watching tv shows while we eat dinner we got into that ritual where we sit on the floor instead of sitting at the table we go eat dinner together seven nights a week i wonder if that's bad for your back also, we like. I mean, we well, scientifically see if if we were all, if I was at work all day and you guys were at school all day, like families. Then if we had dinner, we'd have we'd have it at the table because that would be our only yeah. like when families talk and stuff. But we look, we're talking right now. We don't need to talk at dinner, right. like otherwise, because you would think, right oh, now. that's unhealthy to be watching something while you're eating dinner. It's a time you're supposed Especially to be connect. Wu Tang. Yeah, right now we're on Wu Tang. Wu Tang Clan. We're, we're, we're all saying between Wu Tang's Clan show series and Wu Tang an American Saga. And what's the other one? Purge. And the Purge series, because we series. haven't watched the Purge series. We've, we've watched, watched Breaking all the movies. Bad, we've watched Ozark, we've watched... Walking Dead, yeah, very good kid-friendly shows here we got going on. We've watched all the we've spin-offs the of Walking Dead. But we, and we but always, we watch Fear the we always come up with things like the next yeah. day, something will be going on, and, and we'll refer to we've the show. Sheldon. We'll like tie something from the show into something that's happening in real life. Like, look, this is about this and this. Like, We always tie it in somehow. I, don't know, I can't think of an example off my head, but yeah. like, you still get lessons and learn stuff from it comment if you've watched any of these so yeah we sit on the floor before. sometimes we have like three different we literally have three different dinner tables in this house if you count outside is there one outside no isn't there two there's out- two outside so there's two outside there is and two inside oh, no. there's only there's- one outside. so it's three dinner tables and yeah no there's most of the percentage of time we eat dinner sitting on the floor Watching a, plates on the floor. Watching a series. Watching a series. But the, dogs, the dogs are with us. We, we bring the dogs stay outside until it's dinner time. We call them in for dinner time. They come and sit with us. We give them some we have of our a fireplace dinner. Fireplace there. Yeah. 
and we watch the times. So one of our cool rituals. And you wouldn't think people, oh my God, that's so horrible. You shouldn't be watching TV while you're eating dinner because that's a time to to connect and 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 talk Wait, and conversate. That is if you're working a nine to five. Why would you talk like that? That is if you're working a nine to five. That was annoying. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> yep. Stop oh, doing that. them. I just got a good. So yeah, we're connecting and talking all throughout the day. So during dinner, that's just what, and that just turned into it. It started off just a once in a while thing. Now it's like we don't let the mom, Russian. Mommy will say like, "Today v- I'm gonna go to eat dinner at the table." V- like, yeah, right. at the table. Like, like what? Hell no! We gotta catch. So, uh, we gotta like, catch the next episode. We're like, we never knew you had a sense of humor. <laughs> All right, so there's some of our family rituals. Put in the comments down below what are some of your family rituals that maybe and we can try out. And what some TV shows you watch. What are some of the TV series you've watched with your family? Stop. And what are some of your family rituals that you have or personal rituals you have that maybe you want to share that we could try out? Because we're looking to try out some new and, and cool things. So let us know in the comments below. And, and thoughts on the episode. And take us home. Make If you like this episode, or even if you didn't, make sure you smash <laughs> that subscribe button. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. So you never miss out on any of our future videos or uploads. And also click the like button. Bye. See you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye. No excuses. No excuses. Trying to be all serious after. Bye. No excuses. I am serious. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give it up. No, I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you, I ain't never So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give it up. No, I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you.